So we turn back to that question many have had these past 24 hours. That is how the shooter was able to get to his sniper's perch that was a few hundred yards away from President Trump as he was speaking on the platform. Channel 2's Andy Payton joining us live from the newsroom after speaking with a former Homeland Security agent who has experience in presidential protection details here in western New York. Andy? Yeah, Ron, that's right. Stephen McMartin is now at Hilbert College in Hamburg, but for years aided in presidential protection when former presidents like Bill Clinton and George Bush came to Buffalo and the nearby area. And he, like the rest of us, is really just in a state of shock right now, just seeing how everything unfolded and everything that's come out this past day here. He tells me at rallies and really any type of event or gathering, it is the Secret Service's job to be with the president, or in this case, former president, and identify all potential threats which includes potential threatening vantage points. Uh, and he said just watching the way everything unfolded yesterday, uh, it came as just such a surprise. Take a listen to this. I discounted the possibility that it had come from, from 300 or 200 yards away um, from the top of a, of a building like that because I assumed the Secret Service would have locked that down and, and not, not allowed for that. Um, it's something that probably should have not happened. Now, that's something that we're told will be investigated in the coming days, and McMartin tells us we can expect more details on that on an action report that will be released that will give us a better idea of how the shooter managed to get on top of that roof and also help aid the Secret Service going forward in their approach. Now, Ron, this all comes just a day ahead of the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee, and tonight 11 will have much more on all this, including how security could look different in Wisconsin tomorrow because of this. That, again, will be tonight at 11. But for now, on your side here in the newsroom, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.